So you're at the Royal Court Theater. You sometimes are seeing Beckett. And I'm no Beckett expert. You're the Beck. You're yes. the. You are the Beckett yes. expert. So are you reading? Is he sending you new plays? And so yes. you're reading stacks and stacks of new plays. But you're no, also no. He's not writing stacks of plays. But other people are yeah, sending plays. Yeah, I'm reading plays. stacks of plays. Uh huh. And yeah. and then so what does that do to you as someone who's new to the theater and? Well. It gave me, a, I had a different point of view than everybody else because they were all growing up loving theatre and the rest of it. I just liked circus. So I tended to write plays like circus acts. There was no scenery, they were done in curtains and stuff. And mm -hmm. Like this, you know, the chord is about, the sun is, that's, that's, this is corporeal. Yeah. The sun is, <laughs> mum wouldn't let them cut their um, umbilical cord and it's, it's now about 12 feet long and it's, it's wrapped in bandages and it's tied, you say tied to the mother's apron strings. Yes. Well, he's tied, he's tied to her by the umbilical cord. The, the, um, that's, a, that's a powerful image. Yeah, yeah. And he's yeah. like, what, 30 or something? He's no, still... no, he's not like, he's oh. about, he's just, get, <laughs> he's just getting into an interest with girls. Ah. And that produces new complications. We should do this play again. Do you ever see it? I've not seen it. I've seen the short film. Um, Mel Tom yeah, but the, the play is funny. Yeah. There isn't a laugh in the short film. No, the short film is really it's upsetting. A, it's another vision. Mm -hmm. But it's the same dialogue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but it's disturbing me, all these images from the remote past. Is it? Oh, God, yes. Why? Because oh, I don't think about these things. Oh. I'm it's dredging a long, up. It's a long time ago. Mm -hmm. I've heard you talk about, uh, uh, when I've been in class with you or when we've had conversation about um, how you started to figure out what the definition of dramatic action oh, is that, from because, reading that the plays. Oh, that caused so much trouble. Uh, I, was looking at, I would look to the plays to see if they had something dramatic, but I couldn't name it. Uh, but most of the, the most of the plays were junk. <laughs> no, often, I don't think anything's changed. No, no, but often well written junk. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. What's what's but well they written didn't junk? Have, oh, the, the it's full of ideas. The characters are interesting, maybe, but nothing in dramatic terms actually happens because they're not really playwrights. And then we had this writers group with some very famous now writers in. Like Soyinka, the only African Nobel Prize winner, he was, Woley was there, Edward Bond, uh, Wesker, uh, yeah, the, all the life, the, not Pinter and not Osborne. They weren't really royal court writers. Oh, they weren't? No. Yeah. Okay. We knew Pinter, we, the occasional meetings with them about the. I would be on platforms with people like Pinter and we'd, we'd, we'd <laughs> be there. Uh, trying to defend the change in theatre. Waiting for the tube or something all the, like that. No, all the critics were attacking us and right. saying it was all rubbish. And uh -huh. I remember the News Chronicle, which is dead now, I'm happy to say. <laughs> it said, a masterpiece of meaningless insignificance. About what play? About Pinter's uh, first long play, The Birthday Party. Oh. <laughs> Right. A masterpiece of meaningful insignificance. A meaningless insignificance. A meaningless, meaningless By this asshole called Alan Dent. Mm. Let us remember him. <laughs> As an asshole? Alan, yeah. We'll take a moment. That's right. I mean, not, yes, I mean, he was expecting, yes, you know, it's like they're expecting plays where they stand around drinking cocktails dressed in evening dress. You right. Know, I was thinking of that and theatre had changed. Beckett's upsetting the natural order, Pinter's upsetting the natural order. Yeah, sure. You're hanging out with them in smoke-filled yeah. rooms. I mean, everything got torn apart in 58. Hmm. That was the year that whatever we did was said to be rubbish. They were not sympathetic. So that drew us together.